Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we will delve into President Biden's powerful speech at the NATO summit, where he reaffirmed unwavering support for Ukraine and announced significant air defense commitments to counter Russian aggression. In a pivotal moment at the NATO summit in Washington, D.C., President Joe Biden delivered a speech that underscored the resilience and collective strength of the NATO alliance in the face of Russia's ongoing aggression against Ukraine. The summit, marking NATO's 75th anniversary, was a platform for Biden to reaffirm the alliance's commitment to defending democracy and ensuring global security. This speech, rich with historical context and future commitments, aimed to convey not only the strategic importance of supporting Ukraine, but also the broader implications for global stability. Biden began his address by reflecting on NATO's origins post-World War II, emphasizing its foundational purpose to address immediate threats, prevent future wars, and safeguard democracy. He reminded the audience that NATO was formed out of a need to create a unified front against common threats, ensuring peace and stability in a world that had just endured the horrors of global conflict. This historical context set the stage for discussing NATO's expansion, notably welcoming Finland and Sweden into the alliance. Biden highlighted that their inclusion was driven by overwhelming support from their citizens, not just their leaders, signaling a robust and united front against any threats. The core of Biden's address was his stark and resolute message. Russian President Vladimir Putin aims to fully subjugate Ukraine. Biden declared unequivocally that Russia is losing this war and that Putin's ambitions would not be limited to Ukraine. He stressed that Putin's aggression is a threat not just to Ukraine, but to global stability and democracy itself. Make no mistake, Russia is losing this war, Biden asserted, emphasizing the resilience of the Ukrainian people and the critical role of NATO's support in curbing Putin's aggression. He passionately stated, Ukraine can and will stop Putin, especially with our full collective support. One of the most significant announcements was the promise of additional air defense systems to Ukraine. Biden revealed that the US, along with Germany, the Netherlands, Romania and Italy, would provide a historic donation of air defense equipment, including dozens of tactical systems. This pledge aims to bolster Ukraine's defense capabilities against ongoing Russian bombardments ensuring that Ukraine can protect its skies and its citizens from further attacks. The US will deliver further Patriot missile systems and interceptors with contributions from Germany and Romania in the form of Patriot batteries. The Netherlands will provide components for an additional Patriot battery, while Italy will donate a SAMT system. This coordinated effort highlights NATO's unified stance and its determination to assure Ukraine's sovereignty. To Secretary General Jen Stoltenberg emphasized the broader implications of the conflict. He warned that a Russian victory in Ukraine would embolden other adversarial nations like Iran, China and North Korea, reshaping global security dynamics for decades. Stoltenberg's message was clear. The outcome of this war will have lasting consequences and NATO cannot afford to let Russia succeed. There are no risk-free options with an aggressive Russia as a neighbor, Stoltenberg said. The biggest cost and the greatest risk will be if Russia wins in Ukraine. We cannot let that happen. He underscored that the decisions made at this summit would shape global security for decades to come, reinforcing the critical importance of NATO's support for Ukraine. Biden's speech was also closely scrutinized in the context of U.S. domestic politics. Following a challenging debate against Republican Donald Trump, concerns about Biden's age and leadership capabilities have surfaced among some Democrats. Despite these challenges, Biden's performance at the summit was steady, reinforcing his commitment to NATO and its objectives. His ability to articulate a clear and decisive stance on international issues, particularly the conflict in Ukraine, was seen as crucial to maintaining confidence in his leadership both at home and abroad. As NATO leaders convened to discuss bolstering the alliance's defense capabilities, Biden's speech served as a rallying cry for continued support for Ukraine. His message was clear. Russia will not prevail, and the collective strength of NATO will ensure Ukraine remains a free and independent nation. 
He emphasized that the war would end with Ukraine retaining its sovereignty and an independence, a sentiment that was met with strong support from NATO allies. The decisions made at this summit will shape the future of global security, emphasizing the enduring importance of unity and collective action in the face of aggression. Biden's address also touched on the broader geopolitical landscape, acknowledging that the conflict in Ukraine is part of a larger struggle between democratic values and authoritarianism. He highlighted the need for continued vigilance and solidarity among NATO members, not just in the context of the Ukraine conflict, but in addressing other global threats. Biden's call for unity was a reminder that NATO's strength lies in its collective resolve and its ability to adapt to emerging challenges. In conclusion, Biden's speech at the NATO summit was a powerful statement of commitment to Ukraine and to the principles of democracy and collective security by pledging additional air defense systems and reinforcing the alliance's unified stance against Russian aggression. Biden underscored the importance of supporting Ukraine in its fight for sovereignty and independence. His address was a reminder that the outcome of this conflict will have far-reaching implications for global security and that NATO's strength lies in its unity and resolve to defend democratic values. The decisions made at this summit it will not only shape the future of Ukraine, but will also influence the global geopolitical landscape for years to come.